Alright, this is Critigri, this is our little guy. Welcome to Dragon Quest Builders 1. Um, I've played a little bit of 1 on Switch, and I've played a little bit of 1... <laughs> i played a little bit of 2 on Xbox Game Pass, but it's no longer there. And I really wanted to get this on Steam, so here we go again. So if art come before me at last, I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side, do so and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Um... Thou wishest not? For half the world? Are you a fucking idiot? Critigri, at long last I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. That's right, we're the only person who knows how to build or craft. Kind of a weird story beat, but I kind of like it. Here we are. In this heckin' little world. I'm just a little guy. Jumping about. Well, yes, I understand that you wish to leave this place. But first you must learn if you're... <sighs> Very well. It will show you how to build a path out of his script. Honestly, back in my day, games hardly had tutorials. You just figured it out for yourself, but fine. Here's a broken branch. Chuggy, you're not asleep, are you? You weren't even voice acting to me. Perhaps it is best we continue this conversation outside. God, it's so fucking rude. The literal goddess, I assume, is talking to me, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, Chuggy, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Wow, okay, thanks for the pep talk. I feel so good right now. It's Cantlin Plains! Can't help but notice, it's clearly a port of a mobile version. <laughs> Some of the UI and the menu configuration feels very rough. Uh, I'm going to see if there's a way to turn that off. What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place, it's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa, what's yours? <gasps> and then she just fucking moves in. God damn. Things move fast in the Dragon Quest universe. What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where'd you come from? Uh, I just fucking exist now. You don't remember? The goddess told you to come here. Oh! You're crazy! Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? It is? Critigri, my child. <laughs> She's a dumbass. <laughs> you could do better. <laughs> I am playing on controller. I don't know um, how good the uh, PC controls are. I just went with what was familiar. Wow, that's incredible. The walls are all, were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it? With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. But now you're a weird boy with voices in his head who thinks it's good to live in houses made of dirt. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up the old house like that. How did you do it? I pressed circle. What? You, you've got the power to build new things? Yes, that's what I said. What does build mean? <laughs> Kritogi, my child. Do you remember what I told you about her being an idiot? Real to this girl, fruits of your labors. Critigri obtains a splat of blue goo. Critigri, please. Look, I know you've been in that cave for a long time, but that's not polite. Hey, where'd you find a torch? That's incredible. You didn't find it? You built it? <laughs> okay, weirdo. <laughs> I just realized something. You never told me your name. It's Critigri. Critigri? <laughs> what kind of a name is that? It doesn't sound like you have any kind of special powers at all. I do. I have the power to create a unique name that nobody knows how to spell. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, Critigri, you've still got those torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. <laughs> Immediately fucking burns the house down. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so weird playing this game on a mouse and keyboard, holy shit. <laughs> it's funny because when I first saw Dragon Quest Builders, I was like, oh, that looks like a game that's going to be difficult to control with a controller. And now I'm playing it for mouse and keyboard, I'm like, oh, this is fucking weird. Nah, I'm gonna be honest, it's too weird. It's too weird, I'm going back to control it. Brilliant, now that's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Kotogri, you really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Alright, that's it, I'm not building you anything else ever again. But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? So let's, let's get this straight. You've judged me by my name and my appearance so far. Fantastic. I'm so glad I'm doing this for you. Anyway, thanks, Kotogri. Now we have some of the Sweet, we got a mildly vagina looking seed of life. What? 
Why you look at me like that? Yat, what? Yat, 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 what? What? Yat, yat. There's no way to rebind these fucking ah these menu controls <laughs> where X is bad and circle is good. You know what I mean. Oh my god, it's driving me mad. Well, I guess she did want us to sleep next to each other. Who am I to argue? Kategory builds himself his first basic bedroom. Kategory, hello, Kategory. Was a goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. You've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Kategory. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Kategory begins to feel time passing by. Kategory is still doing it. But anyway, look. There are a lot of plumbery tr plumberry trees around here. Not plumbery trees, those are the ones that help you fix your sink when it gets all backed up. Oh my god, it's a slime! Look at this little guy! Look at this cute little slime! Hey buddy, how's it going? He doesn't even want to kill me! Aww! Oh, okay, they do still hurt- Okay, now he wants to kill me! God, he got the scent of human blood, that was wild. Wow, you found him. Oh, fucking- Pfft, there's UI! <laughs> I'm gonna be wrestling with this through the entire game. Alright, so it's agreed. We're gonna build the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I'll have a think about what we need to build, and you build it. You are going to help me, aren't you, Kritigri? Aren't you? Continues to stare blankly at her. I've always loved this game's blueprint system. Because of course you can build what you want, but like the way... The way that it kind of like encourages you to build certain rooms and stuff, and it, then it can like recognize those rooms as certain things for the certain villagers to do certain things in, is brilliant. Bonfire, Mason's workbench... Ah yes, and the chest. Oh my god. No. No, I do not want to remove the blueprint for fuck's sake, these controls. Oh, hey, that's a different noise. When I sleep in Dragon Quest 7, it goes. Hell yeah, we did it. I completed Pippa's picture. I'm the freaking best. I'm going to use my new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. It's just random bits of stick and cloth. Thanks again for the workroom, Kritigri. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked like a bit of a weirdo so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we ask him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city? So let me get this straight, you saw a weird, suspicious looking man who you avoided. And now you're like, we should ask him to live with us. So one thing that they did change in this version I've heard is they got rid of, like, weapon durability. So shit doesn't just randomly break all the time now. And I saw this via an article of someone complaining that it takes this, like, flavour away from the game. Nah. Fuck that shit. I'm really glad they did that. Oh. Oh, I'm already wearing these. Cool. <laughs> I just wasted that then. I just got naked in front of fucking Pippa. That was embarrassing. Whoops. Well. That one was on me. There's an old worn signpost here for words. My pledge emblazoned at the top. There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? Yes. How many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness? Monsters roam the land unchecked, and even my dear home, the city of Cantlin, have finally fallen. It was but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now, fewer and fewer of our people literate are literate. <laughs> literate? <laughs> These ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwriting is so bad that Critigri cannot summon up a will to read anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Judgmental. Hello? Is somebody there? Those rotten monsters have buried me alive. They've completely covered me in earth and I can't get out. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Hurry, my child. Yeah, okay, I got it. There you go. Whew. Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me join your city and help rebuild it. Hmm? What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find your way to your town whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am Rollo, the proud owner of that most venerable of books, the Cantlin Chronicle. I assure you that I... But it and I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way. Okay. We've got a new villager. I accidentally planted a flower. My word. Just look at this place. 
by my bristly brows. This town is positively brimming with life. It sure is. The Catlin Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Critigri. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Okay, Rollo has been rescued. Yeah, you found someone to join our town. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. I am so glad you said book. But but he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> and he must be really clever too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. Why would... Oh, uh, never mind. Stop awarding me broken branches. It's so insulting, just being like, hmm, what can I give him to thank him? I know, these sticks I found on the ground. You know, Critigri, I've been so starving lately I could eat my own head. All of this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking... Who's been doing the building and inventing again? Ah, stop doing that. Why do I think triangle is jump? When is triangle ever jump? Unless I'm playing Fur Fighters Vigo's Revenge. There we go. I've built us a kitchen in this nice, hygienic dirt hut. P pardon? You want to see it? Yourself? The Catlin Chronicle. With your own two nice. I'm sorry, Kategory, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go parading it around in front of anyone that asks. And besides, to whom is written in an ancient and cryptic script. What, English? What? Have I finished reading that book yet? Learn some patience, young man. I have ADHD. Sweet. We can make pot now. We did it! We leveled up the base! Wahoo! Critigri, you must prepare our defences against the coming assault. But fear not. I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall do my duty by protecting our dear Pepper and our beloved home from harm. Rollo speaks the truth, my child. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are heading here in droves. This town is the seed of all Alephgard's restoration. It must not be allowed to fall at the hands of the monsters. With the Oaken Club in hand, and enough healing cream to tide you for the onslaught, you must drive back the Dragon Lord's foul followers. Remember when I said you weren't a hero? I take that back, do some shit. We did it! I didn't even have to cast Frizz. Hmm? You do not know if you are equals of a task? In fact, you do not really understand what this task I have given you is all about. You just want to build things, not fight the monsters? At this very moment, that may well be so, but as you come to know more of the people here, you will realise that with great power comes great responsibility. My Uncle Ben died for this, okay? I beg your pardon? You're building a city? <laughs> Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you've another thing coming. I hate to burst your bubble, boy, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. Speaking of which, I'm tired out after that trek. I'll stay here and rest a while, if you don't mind. Oh yeah. I, I feel really, like, charitable towards you right now. I've done it, Critiker. You've made a teleportal. Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new and exciting lands, you're sure to find new and exciting materials with which to build new and exciting items. Quickly now, plop that teleportal down on the ground and hop on through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. Actually, Critiker, before you head off, there is something I wish to ask of you. Something on which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleportal up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Sure. A lot is happening all at once. Right here. Portal to another island opens up. Ah yes, this seems like it's at the same level of technology as the rest of my village. I mean city. Once you have learned the recipe, waste no time. Build one straight away and show it to me. Alright, we're off to make giant mallet. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Oh my goodness, I'm in another land entirely. This isn't that crazy to me. I've 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 played this far. I've played this far before. I don't remember this. Oh, I see. It's literally just like a beacon that you can see, like from super far away. Yeah, okay, that's pretty helpful. That'll let me find my way back to the teleportal. Oh, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Enter my village. 
tell me people shouldn't work together. Steal my woman. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Kotigri's mind. Uh, what? I don't remember this. So I say on Svi, vanquish the accursed dragon lord and reclaim the sphere of light. All of Alephgard doth place its trust in the hero, fulfill thy destiny and deliver this land from the darkness. Wasn't this Dragon Quest 1? Seems like a memory of something that happened long, long ago. But whether it was his own memory or somebody else's, Critigris can't remember. Critigris? Critigri. Don't know why I added like a plural on the end of my own name there. There's two of me now, I guess. What do you think you're doing barging in here like you own a place? You've got a lot of nerve, you know. Well, no harm done, I suppose. To be honest, I don't really have anything against humans. So what do you want? Your hammer. What? You want to take a look at my tool? But, but, but we've only just met, Blush. Uh, pff. Wow. <laughs> okay. Clobberina knows all sorts of stuff. She told us there used to be humans everywhere, and they were always horrible to us monsters. Then the Dragon Lord came and chased, chased, chased away all humans, and made things nice and peaceful like they are now. I'm so happy I wasn't born back when the humans were in charge. Yeah, I've got some bad news for you, buddy. Clobberina, Clobberina, there's a horrible smelly human here. They're useless, worthless. I wish we'd hurry up and go extinct. But if you can't wait for that happy day, how about I wallop, wallop, wallop this one for you right now? <laughs> um, uh, you, you didn't hear any of that, did you? I never said anything, nothing. Anyway, if you did fix up my roof for me, I'd be ever so grateful. I might even show you how to make a giant mallet just like mine. Here's the thing, she doesn't know that I know how to build, so she's probably just fucking with me. Straw flooring. This is something I love about this game as well. You might be like, oh no, you start in dirt huts, am I going to have to like dismantle all of this and rebuild it? No, there's literally an item that lets you convert a type of flooring or walls into something else. My word, you fixed my roof! I don't know why you fixed it with flooring, but anyway. Whoa! Learned hammer. Alright, so we haven't had a quest for this yet, but it really bugs me seeing how muddy all these houses look. So here, let me show you. If you've never played Dragon Quest Builders before. You get this. You place it down. Oh no. I forgot. It's not as intuitive as I would like. Oh no. I think maybe in Dragon Quest Builders 2 it's a little bit more intuitive, but yeah. That's, that's how that works. Alright. We got our giant mallet. Hell yeah, dude. Look at us. Look at us, no one can stop us now. By my knobbly knuckles, Critigri, you've done it. You've built a giant mallet. With a hammer like that, you can smash up all sorts of things you couldn't smash up before. Why, just around here there are trees and rocks, and through the blue teleportal there's said to be copper and coal in abundance. Who says that? Who told you this? Do we have scouts? I don't think we have scouts. What do you mean not enough space? What the fuck is this thing? Does it have to be next to a wall? Okay. Interesting. Ah, Critigri, I've been talking to Pippa. Yes, I know you have, you swine. Have you seen any of those old, poor, broken down houses that you've been out on your wanderings? If you fixed them up, you could use them as a home from home and take a break without having to come all the way back to town. In other words, stay the fuck away. I'm stealing your girl. We did possess nicely and the Hammerheads taught you how to make their giant mallets. You know, I think your voice might have some kind of magical power. Swoon. Even if I'm fast asleep, I jump straight up the moment you talk to me, just like magic. Perhaps you put your spell on the hammer hoods too. I'm gonna sit the fuck down, I'm tired. By my bulging biceps, you've done it, Critigri. You've built the colossal coffer. With that coffer placed within the boundaries of this great town, you no longer have to worry about running out of room when you're out and about. When your item bag is full, this marvelous magical chest will whisk anything you can't carry back to your base and store it for you. Oh, I forgot about that, that's awesome. <laughs> And you can access it from anywhere in the world. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I wish more fucking survival crafting games did this shit. Alright, we got a shield. Although I don't really know how we use it in combat. I think it just... It just kind of uses our... It just buffs our defense. And we finally got some better clothes, dude. We finally look like we're not homeless. It is so nice not having to worry about item durability. Whoever fucking reviewed this game and said that it was missing flavor without it. I mean, okay, maybe include it as an option, but like, goddamn. Stay back. Uh, who are you? You shouldn't be here, it's not safe. You should leave now before it's too late. Oh shit, there's monsters. Cool. I can't believe you actually did it. You defeated the monsters. I found this nice, whoops. You might have got lucky this time, but us humans don't stand a chance against them. Let's chalk this, up to want this one up to experience and keep our heads down from now on. Thank you, goodbye. I wish you the best of luck out there. What? A town? There's a town on the other side of a teleportal? And you came all this way just to find me? 
Well, if you put it like that, I'll certainly come with you. It's not as if I've got anywhere else to go. My name's Kenelm. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, that's a name. Alright, so he's asking me to use a Chimera wing. If I know my Dragon Quest, that's bait and we're gonna bang our heads on the ceiling here. Let's have, let's see. Yeah. Let's go! Fucking knew it. <laughs> I love this game. Whoa, look at the size of this place. I had no idea a city this big even existed. Just being here makes me feel so alive. I can't remember the last time I felt so full of energy. Thanks for bringing me here, Critigri. I suppose it's fitting that I'd end up living in Cantlin. My ancestors used to be guards here, so if you need someone to keep this place safe, you can count on me. Sweet, we got a guardsman. It seems he fancies himself something of a soldier. We don't need his kind here. I never should have told you about him. Hmm? What's wrong with soldiers, you ask? All I'll say is bad things happen when people band together. Doubly so if they're looking for a fight. Do you have any idea what brought the city of Cantlin to ruin? Just take it from me. You really don't want to go making this town any bigger. Still, you were only trying to help. Here, could you could take this. You earned it. Damn, this guy has got a lot of emotions. By my fairy feet, Grittigri. I really need to shave my feet. Get hammered, get hammered, get hammered, get hammered, get hammered, get hammered, get hammered. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. That was scary. Take that, you fool. Thanks for getting rid of those awful monsters again, Grittigri. But Grittigri, if you have a moment, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. How are babies made? <laughs> Wait, what? A lady sign? That pretty much confirms she's the only female villager we're gonna get. Travel to this castle, Kritigri. Find it with your compass, and there learn the secret of... What, what, what did you say? What did your last slave die of? By my frail feelings! Kritigri, you wound me! I do not ask you to go there for my own benefit, but for yours! After all, are you not the builder, the legendary figure who is destined to save us all? Is the whole thing about me not being a hero just that I'm really fucking rude when people ask me to do things? If you could defeat that monster, I bet you'll be able to learn its technique for yourself. Use your compass to find it and give that beast a hiding of its life. If it's such a good technique, wouldn't it beat me though? It's an iron scorpion? That's intimidating. I've made the UI a bit smaller by the way just because I am playing on a monitor right in front of me. I don't really need it to be that big and it's probably a better viewing experience if it's smaller. I'm only bringing it up because you would have noticed it from clip to clip if I didn't mention it. Also, I'm sorry if it was bugging you. I fixed all the floors. They all now have perfect straw floors. Hey, you're human! Human, human! Don't worry. I'm just like Clobrina. I love humans. But what's a human doing all the way down here? You didn't fall in, did you? Don't worry, human. I'll show you how to climb, climb, climb up sheer walls just like these, and you'll be out of here in no time. That's a handy little tutorial. Just hiding away down here. Stop being annoying. That's so annoying. <laughs> so we've got a button to aim at up, right? But he either wants to put it down here or up here. There's no fucking in between. I guess I just do that. It's not really a problem. What's in the chest? Oh, a seed of life. Lovely. Bruh. Bruh. It looks like this could be used used to be someone's home. If Kritiku could repair it, he might be able to rest here. Oh yeah, sure. I'll keep this guy. He's called Steven. He's my pet corpse. Ah. Lovely restful sleep in front of a dead guy. Thanks for watching over me, Steven. Aw, oh, man. Rude. I want to see what was over there. There's an old musty notebook here. Kritiku flips to the last page. Praise be to the goddess. Tis surely her blessing that I might find such a bounty of coal and copper in the depths of this dark, dank cave. But however hard I strike it, whether with my cypress stick or oaken club, these minerals refuse to be dislodged. Oh, that I had a stronger weapon to bring to bear. The things I could make with such fine materials. I harbour no doubt that minerals like coal and copper are the key to mankind's advancement. If only I had a hammer. The entry ends there. Looks like it was written for someone who hasn't picked up a hammer yet. I have no way of, like, mining the roof, which is annoying. Also, yeah, just fucking mining in this game is kind of scuffed in general. <laughs> like the camera work and shit. Clobberina told us that if we ever see a human, we have to help them in whatever way we can. So, do you like ladders? If you're a ladder-loving lad, you should try building one yourself. Oh, this guy just taught me how to make ladders. Nice. Ah, what the fuck? Oh, really? What a bad time to go hungry. Take that, bozo. Kajiko, you're back, and you beat that special monster, didn't you? It's written all over your face. So, you're saying it built up its energy, then spun around really fast? Alright then, it looks like you killed Sonic the Hedgehog. Kajiko learns spinning slice. Now he can cut his sandwiches while he's in a revolving doorway. Oh, I made the furnace, by the way. In the forge, or whatever. 
I should probably... Hey look, progression! Save clip. I just confirmed. Crafting materials being in a colossal coffer means I can just craft them from anywhere. That's very good to know. Oh no, I just realized I might have made a mistake. Uh, the, this converts nearby earth floors into flagstone blocks, which means the ones I will just convert into straw, it's slightly more annoying because I do have to rip up all the flooring manually. Probably. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Oh no. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Ah, a castle. I remember this. I remember the castle. I remember picking up a bunch of materials in here. I was like, ooh, I want that and that and that and that. I have failed. I have failed so terribly. Words fail of me in expressing how terribly I have failed. Ah, the Vows can see me? I was once a knight of Catelyn, charged with defending these lands from the ceaseless advances of the Dragon Lord's armies. And yet mere moments before I could complete the stockade that might have saved this castle, his forces fell upon us. My failure haunted me to this day. Apparently up until now we did not have one and this was going to stop all of them. It is done. The stockade is complete. Now we have naught to fear from the Dragon Lord's minions. Go friend. Lure those three hammer wielding half fiends into our trap. Return to my side to see the stockade do its terrible work. Oh my goodness. They are being stabbed on the feet. Oh well they found a way around. Well done mate. Great stockade. Haha <laughs> that went wonderfully well. While the monsters strike in vain at the hard stone wall, they soon fell to the sharp spikes beneath their feet. A cunning trap, dost thou not agree? Sure. Beg pardon? To whom doth the castle behind us belong? That building is no mere castle, but a bastion that did protect our people from the monsters. Until it fucking didn't. Shouldst thou seek a blueprint for this stone stockade, I bid thee speak with Ranulf within the castle. I thank thee, kind stranger, for thine aid. Now that my plans are complete, I can finally rest in peace. Oh my god, he fucking vanished. Well, here we are. Inside the castle. It was all in vain. This is a cheerful world. Oh, hello! Some more people disappeared today. How can this be? The monsters cannot have made their way inside the citadel. The grown-ups have called for me tonight. I know not what they want with me, but I have no choice but to go. Ah, the Cantlin Plains. Celebrated everywhere for their plainliness. It would seem that in my absence, the people of this region used the last of their strength to build this bastion. They have sealed themselves within its walls to escape the encroaching horde of monsters. And yet, I cannot help but feel there is something amiss about the people living here. I tried to engage them in conversation, but they merely stared at me with cold dead eyes. And one of them nearly made off with my provisions. They're eating each other. That's what they're doing. They're eating each other. Oh, okay. I've got a book now. Wait, if I put it back down... Okay, I can't read it anymore. That's kind of a bummer, actually. Taking this. I hope you don't mind if I just take all your stuff. What's up, dude? Well, well, well. So thou canst see me, hmm? Twould seem thou art no ordinary man. I am Ranulf, erstwhile mayor of the city of Cantlin. But that was hundreds of years ago. Now, I am a ghost. Woo! Ah, so thou art the builder of whom the Cantlin Chronicles spake. Sorry, I, I couldn't resist. I've got to get my uh, fucking laughs in where I can, I'm a goddamn ghost. Well, Builder, what business hast thou in these ruined halls? The people who once dwelt here did bring destruction upon their own heads. Thou wilt find naught here but grief and sorrow. I see. Thou comest in search of a stone stockade. Tell me, Builder, why dost thou build thy city? Why dost thou build at all? Kutuki. Come with me, there is something I wish to show thee. I shall await thee at the top of the roof of this castle, but be warned, the staircases have long fallen into the room. Thou mightest need to build your own way there, huh? Builder. That's nice, I'm taking this throne. It's mine now. Thank you. Oh, it's cheek. It's a cheek chair. I'm taking these pillars, by the way. I'll be up in a minute. Well, you did tell me you'd be waiting for me at the top. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, I was about to be sassy. All met once more, young builder. Now look upon the lands thou seest before thee. Look thee upon the sky, and the black and brooding clouds that shroud this world. Once this world was blindingly beautiful. Its people lived beautiful lives in beautiful cities that they built with their own beautiful hands. Uh, Renolf? What, I like hands. So sue me. Now all has been lost. Mankind lies bereft of all hope, powerlessly awaiting their inevitable end. Critigree, if thou art truly the builder, 
Val must needs drive the darkness from the sky, and bring back beauty to this land. What mightest thou quail? Well, mightest thou quail at having such a weighty responsibility thrust upon thee unbidden. But know this, thy companions are in dire need, and the power to save them is thine and thine alone. I thought this guy was going to tell me there's no hope, but instead he's like, yeah, okay, save the fucking world. See if I care. Hell yeah. People believe in me, dude. I collected the, de de the Descensive Divines. Oh my god. I'm going to stop talking. Love to see it. Whoops. I fell over. Hey, so uh, I might have nicked some of their fancy carpet. Do you think they'll mind? Oh, there's more. They probably won't mind. Oh, a bed! Ooh! Ah, no! God fucking damn it! This shouldn't be this difficult. There better be something up there. Oh, come on! Fucking hell! I've lost all ability to control a video game character. Who's the kid who grew up on Crash Bandicoot? Not me. It was because of the vines. I automatically gripped the vines. Oh, cool. Nothing up here. Can I go down here? Maybe this is what I want to be doing. Hello? Nope. That was just a waste of time. Awesome. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought I was good to go. Okay. Second try. I am just blundering everything at this point. Actigree, you return. And with information about the stone stockade, no doubt. Quickly, quickly. Let me see what you found. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Hmm? I say, Actigree. Something looks rather different about you today. You seem... Kinda cute. <laughs> Wait, what? Up, up. Up, up. Hoi! Here! Hop! Ho! Ho ho! And here's your blueprint, Kutigri. I leave the rest in your capable hands. Your weirdly, protagonistically more capable hands than anyone else's. Our hands are literally incapable. Oh, that's really annoying. It doesn't automatically combine unless I do this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I hope there is enough room in a colossal coffer for literally every item in the game. I mean, there's a button to swap to... Oh! Okay, so this is a button to just show you things by item, I guess. So I guess that would insinuate it is every item in the game. That's fine. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to do that. I thought that was the cladding. That being said... I did need more of these blocks, so <laughs> I guess that kind of works out. Access build mode with R3. Uh, what the heck is build mode? Uh, whoa, whoa, what? This was here the entire time. This game has a first person mode. Since when did this game have a fucking first person mode? Oh my God, this is wild. See, this is what I needed for cave mining as well. Because I assume you could just mine a top of... Yeah. Honestly? Apart from when you're in combat, this kind of just works. This is just kind of what the game kind of maybe should be. You. Oh. Why does it center the camera every time I put a block down? That's, uh... That's a choice. Oh boy. How do I build stone wall? I would like to know how to build stone wall. Apparently, I don't know how to build stone wall. I don't know why this is a song, but this is the I don't know how to build stone wall song. I see. That's why it senses the camera. I still don't love it, though. No. Oh, this is where you make magic die. Okay. I was struggling with that. I was about to look it up. Oh, do you build stone wall in here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We remembering how this game works. We making progress. Try getting over this wall, you damn monsters. Haha. -ha. Please don't ever attack from any side other than the west, though. I did. <coughs> I did it. Oh, good lord. Oh, it's going to bother me that some of them are on grass and some of them are not. But um, it's fine. If I exit first person, no, nope, it's still obvious. Oh dear. The monsters of Cantlin do not merely roam this realm willy-nilly. They are under the control of a great and powerful monster. Only by defeating this fearsome fiend can light be restored to this land. Hell yeah, dude. 
I am so looking forward to doing that part of a game. I don't think I got that far, ever. I'm gonna fix this up before I lose my mind. <laughs> I'm just running around with spikes in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like running with scissors, it's dangerous. They shouldn't call this build mode, they should call it destruction mode, because it makes this side of a game so much easier. These look like chocolate chips. Like, every time I look at them, I feel like I'm about to get them sprinkled on some cupcakes or some shit. Ah, there we go, we can finally move on. Is this it? Grass seed, here we go. Sprouting seed of bright green grass. Grows grass on nearby earth floors, yes. I would fucking like to remember the weird menu controls. I would like to take this out. And I would like to use it right here. Oh, that looks so unnatural. God damn it. That's nice. I just want grass seed. Hello there, Kritigri. Having fun with your little building projects, are you? I'll tell you right now, if you're thinking of building this city even bigger or making weapons to fight the monsters, I'm dead against it because I just continue to flip-flop from being friendly to horrible at the drop of a hat. I'm not saying it's not fun to build things. And if I did say that, I wouldn't be not be lying. It's just that the workshop you built for us is so dark and dreary, it's really draining my will to build. If it was just a little bit more inviting, I don't doubt I wouldn't feel quite so, well, not negative, but... Some of Kritigri, I think the workshop needs a leather sack and a sconce on the wall. It could do with a shop sign hung there too. Wouldn't that make it the perfect place to work? This fucking guy. Okay, we've got monsters. We've got monsters! <laughs> You're under attack, you say? I'm sure you'll deal with it, I'll see you in the morning. Hey buddy, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I've just seen the flooring, god damn it. God damn it, another thing I'm gonna have to fix. Sorry, I've stopped doing quests because I've just become obsessive about making this town look pretty now. Sorry, the city is definitely a city. Oh, Cladding is such an imperfect art. <laughs> Still, look at how much fucking better this place looks immediately with some stone walls. Hell yeah, dude. I don't know if I want everything to be stone walls, actually. That might be a bit much. Maybe we'll get some wood cladding at some point? I don't know. This this place is going to look a little bit ragtag for a while, I'm afraid. But that's going to do it for this first video of me playing Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in whatever I make next.